Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This channel is all about latest technology related news, know-hows of various technologies and also reviews on various gadgets. So if you like to watch such videos, please subscribe our channel and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. In this video, we are going to discuss about RRAM that is Registrative Random Access Memory which is not commercially launched yet but it will soon replace the current DRM that is Dynamic Random Access Memory. So in this video, we'll discuss what is RRAM, what are the advantages of RRAM, how it is different from DRM, all these things we'll be discussing today. So without wasting any time, let's start. So before talking about resistive RAMs, let me first talk something about DRMs. So dynamic random access memories which consist of millions and billions of small and minute transistors. These transistors can either be charged or discharged. These two stages can be identified as 0 and 1. And we all know that all electronic devices understand the language of binary numbers. So let me make you understand this with the help of an example. Let's say your processor has to process the letter A. So A in binary numbers is denoted with 8, 0 and 1s in a series. So these 8 different 0 and 1s can be processed using 8 different transistors in the RAM. So this is how traditional DRM works. But the major disadvantage is that when the transistor is charged, it starts losing the charge gradually. So it needs to be refreshed and hence the DRM needs continuous supply of energy. So when the power is cut off or when the power is removed, then it loses the data immediately and you cannot retrieve it. So next time when you try to access the data, the RAM has to access the data from the main memory and then only it will be available for processing. So this is the main drawback of DRMs. But in registrative RAMs, what happens unlike in electrons which loses energy or power, here anions are used and which can store the data even after the power is removed. So this is the biggest advantage of registrative RAMs. So next time when you try to access the data, it will be quicker because the processor do not have to get the data from the main memory to process it. The second major difference between DRMs and registrative RAMs is that in DRMs, electrons are used in the transistors which loses energy over the time. But in registrative RAMs, in place of electrons, charged particles are used which can store data even after the power source is removed. Third is the processors which we use in our current devices like say laptop and computers cannot process data from a non-volatile storage like say your flash drive or memory drive. That is why we need a RAM. So the data stored in the main memory is brought from the main memory to the random access memory and then only the processor can process it. So the transfer of data from the main memory to the random access memory takes some time and it delays the process of computation. But in registrative RAMs, it can process the data right where the data is stored. So there is no need of transferring data from a main memory to a random access memory for processing it. Since there is no need of transferring data from one place to another, it will increase the speed of processing and computation. Traditional processors use binary numbers that is 0 and 1 to process the data. As I told earlier, to process the letter A, it need to use 8 different transistors. But as per the researchers in registrative RAMs, it will use trinary numbers that is 0, 1 and 2, which will definitely decrease the number of capacitors that will be needed in processing a single data. So it will also increase or it will also enhance the processing speed. Since in registrative RAMs data can be processed right where it is stored, there will be no separate processors and main memory. So it will be a single chip which can store data and at the same time process the data. So it will definitely give a boost in developing smaller but powerful devices. If this technology is used in smart wearables, then the smart wearables will be much more powerful and it can process data with much more speed. So that's all for resistative RAMs. Resistative RAMs clearly have lots of advantages over DRMs in terms of uh, speed of computation, size, power consumption. So this technology will definitely give a boost in developing smaller yet powerful devices. Companies like HP, Scandis and Dell are already on it and as per the rumors, Dell is using resistive RAMs in a test basis in some commercial products. So we can expect to see this chip in a year or two commercially in different devices. So thanks for watching my video. If you really like my video, do give the thumbs up and don't forget to comment in the comment box. If you like to watch more such videos, please like, share and subscribe my channel. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter and until next one, stay safe and bye bye.